Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a chit chat get ready with me type of update video. I wanted to chat with you guys and just like let you in on things and just like where I have been, what's been going on and just to say hi to you guys because I don't know if you haven't seen or anything but I'm back in Brighton, I'm so excited, I'm very happy um, I'm back in Brighton, I have been here for a little bit but you'll get to see all those dates further on with the video um, further on with the video, further on with the I can't do English. Anyways, that's something you're gonna be see seeing throughout this video. See, I can't even English. Like, I, I just, I can't speak today. It's just not one of those days. Maybe I should have just gotten ready and done a voiceover. But anyways, I miss you guys so much and I really hope you enjoy this chit chat get ready with me. It is a bit of a long one, um, but I will let you in on all the deets of what's been happening the past month and a half with my life and what's been going on and just, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Hey guys, it's been some time. Is, is that English? <laughs> it's been time. It's been some time. I think that was English. I don't know what I said. Anyways, it's been some time since like I've sat in front of the camera, the setup and everything. And I kind of try to put like a cozy-ish macaroon. But you know, like I really need to decorate this room. Like I've been trying to sort like the other bits and pieces of like the other rooms and this is like the last one I'm leaving because it's like yeah anyways that's like the first update here <laughs> anyways I'm going to just like start applying like my favorite things the things that I've been like using recently just just getting ready with you guys and I'll link everything in the description box down below if you are interested in purchasing anything but I do want to say today like I am going to use Jaclyn Hill the vault the Morphe collaboration I um just recently got this and <laughs> what was that so then i was going to say that i just recently got this and i have played with the palettes and everything and i didn't really want to do it like a first impressions kind of thing because i feel like it'd be saturated with all like videos about like oh, is it really worth it and blah 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 so i'm just gonna play with them and so far i can tell you that i really like them and I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I have absolutely no idea. So we're gonna see how this turns out. It might be a total disaster. It might be a total success. Like every single day of our lives. <laughs> At least mine. Okay, so to begin, I am going to switch things up a little tiny bit. It's not kind of like my usual go-to type of thing. But, what? I am going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to do eyes first, which isn't that much of like switching up the things. But I'm going to use something I haven't used in a really long time. And this is the Anastasia Concealer. I just, I think, yeah, it's in the shade one. And it's just the one that came in the pot. Came out some time ago, nothing new. And um, the reason I have this again is because one of the updates is I went to Mexico for a month and a half and came back. And I tried to upload a couple of videos, but that wasn't really successful because um, the internet there was just absolute crap and I was just moving and going and I was doing kind of like an internship kind of thing at my like where my dad works and just you'll see I vlogged I vlogged and I have like vlogs and things like that and I think it's gonna be like a three-part vlog so stay tuned for that if you're interested it's just like being in Mexico City being in the state of Mexico with my dad um, going back to where I lived I even went for a little tiny bit of a holiday for a week with my grandparents and went to Merida, like, this is going to go up, hopefully, I, I, I hope in a couple of hours or tomorrow or something like that, this video. So you're gonna kind of like, no, but um, I have been up uploading photos and the whole time I was there, like I posted Insta stories and that's where I'm just most at, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you ever want to like keep up with me and just know, like what's up with my life. Um, just go to Insta stories. I post there every single day basically and That's the shameless self promo <laughs> Anyways, Sorry about the builders if you can hear them They're builders fixing my neighbors I'm ten minutes so long fixing my neighbor's house. I don't know what they're doing um, 
Anyways, as I was saying, I was there for like a month and a half and I did, I, I enjoyed my time there. I quite enjoyed it. That's not English either. I don't know what's happening to my English today, guys. Like, it's just not happening. Anyways, I was there for some times and I enjoyed it. It was all right. I mean, I wasn't excited to go back. You'll see that in a while. I'm not gonna spoil much, but I wasn't really that excited to go back to Mexico because like, I wasn't gonna go back to like my own home, my own place. So I was gonna be like in a strange environment around like living with people that I don't usually live with. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I haven't, this is sharing a lot today. <laughs> Um, my parents are actually divorced and they like I haven't lived with my dad for a really long time and like I went back to Mexico and since he lives in Mexico and I need to go back to Mexico to renew visa and do shit like that like boring shit like yeah whatever um, I need to go back um, I stayed with him for mm, the most part and I'm not gonna lie it was like all right but I did like struggle because like we really don't know each other uh, anymore and um, I'm not gonna lie about anything, I'm not gonna lie about my life or anything like that but um, we don't get along as well anymore and it was just a bit difficult because like we have totally different like lifestyles yeah, and it was just like a bit difficult but I did go and visit my friends like negative things aside I don't like talking about like negative unpositive unexciting things so yeah aside from that like everything was really like good it went really well um, I went and saw my friends that I used to like go to school with in Querétaro that's where I used to live in Mexico oh look I keep on messing this up anyways um, I went there I went to Merida and so weird saying it in an English accent, Merida, <laughs> that's why I said it in Spanish, Spanish accent. Um, and that is, for those of you guys like that don't know Mexico or don't know where Merida is, it's around <laughs> the same place where Cancun is. So it's the south of Mexico and there's like beaches there and cenotes and just, it's amazing. You guys, if you have never been to Mexico, a cenote or anything like that, I posted a ton of photos and things like that but you'll see in the vlog so get excited for them like they're not a really travel vlogs ish type of style but they are just kind of like come along with me <laughs> a day in the life what am i supposed to say this is so weird anyway so i spent a month and a half in mexico and obviously like i got my visa i got everything sorted and i'm back over here and i just wanted to tell you guys that i'm back and i have been back for um, I want to say uh, tomorrow it's gonna be two weeks, but it took like a week to try to get like Used to the schedule again. The jet lag was just like killing me for some reason When I went back to Mexico this time like I've traveled from Europe to Mexico before um, So that side of the world going back And it's easier to just like stay. It's like a late late night. You stay up really like late and the jet lag doesn't hit you as hard, but for some reason this time like it hit me really hard. I couldn't get used to it. I wasn't feeling well at all. I kept on getting migraines and like I just I wasn't feeling it. Like that that's like the non-exciting part about me going back. But um I mean I kinda had to like get used to it until I came back. And the moment I sorry, the moment I came back I felt like normal again. I am so untotally. I feel like I always look so weird when I have like my like concealer on my lips. <laughs> I look weird. Why am I doing this? I already said it. See, this is what happens when you don't focus, Nicole. Like, pay attention to what the fuck you're doing. Um, I came back on the 26th and I was just sorting things out while I was completely jet lagged and I still need to get some things and bits and bobs for the flat and I had obviously like no food. And I had like, ah, it was such a mission trying to get back because as well, like I brought clothes back from Mexico, like and makeup, well, not a lot of makeup, but some things because I couldn't carry everything obviously because it, it's just too much. I don't mean to brag though, but it's just, I have collected a lot over the years to carry just in a suitcase, in a regular suitcase and not have like an extra suitcase and things and paying those things are a bit expensive. And like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not like anyone's gonna say, oh yeah, sure, bring a whole suitcase of your makeup, I'll pay for that. Oh my god, that'd be like awesome, but that's not what happens here. 
<clears throat> I bought I brought a ton of um, makeup and one of the things is being that concealer that has been in my collection for time now and I love using it to like carve brows out like for this basically <laughs> so what was I saying? I brought like a ton of clothes and I, I bought the concealer well it's not like oh I brought makeup I only brought that concealer but I, I brought makeup and I'm using this concealer and the top that I have on, I bought it from Mexico. I brought back, it was such a mission to try to like get back over here because let's just say that I had four suitcases. Yes, four. Three big ones, no, two big ones, like extra, extra large ones, like big ones. I had like big suitcases and I had one medium one and then one carry-on and like my handbag where I kept like all my things for like as like my carry-on per se um, the uh, one that has like all my stuff I carried all of that and like obviously like I came back and the bags were like way too heavy as well so I also had to pay for that and just such a mission <laughs> look at me complaining okay so now for eyes, I'm using the vault and I think I'm gonna use the Dark Magic or Armed and Gorgeous. I have some like camel pants on, so I'm feeling very green today. <laughs> first time I'm wearing a pajama bottom as well, filming a video. Honestly, I feel like it's the first time. So I'm going to use the Dark Magic palette today and it's full of like greens and stuff like that. And I don't really feel like using too much green. I might use this on my lower lash line. Or this one, I don't know. I, I I might add a pop of color, but I'm mainly going for like a brownie, like a smoky brown. Anyways, it was such a mission to like get back to the UK, like get back to Brighton per se, because like I, I was carrying like those bags and then um, I, I started measuring out roughly how much it was like, because you know, like when you check in your, your luggage, you... Um, you weigh the bags to see how much they weigh and everything so i was roughly calculating how much each bag weighed and how much i was carrying in a trolley to try to get back to the uk once i landed in like heathrow airport uh, to the uk to brighton why do you keep on saying the uk anyways because like uk brighton whatever that's my home so while i was trying to get back um i couldn't take a train because it, if i had to take a train i would have to take like the underground and then if i had to take the underground where's I would have had to carry like like stairs, three massively heavy suitcases, and then a carry-on and a handbag. That would have been chaotic. So I'm like, no, I'll just take a coach to Brighton, even though it's like longer. It takes longer time. Trains are quicker, yes, but I just I just need that comfort of knowing like my suitcases are gonna get there fine, and I'm not gonna have a broken back. <laughs> and that's basically what I wanted. And not gonna lie, when I went, like, I was kind of lost at Heathrow Airport because the first time that I came here, I came to Gatwick and it was, it's smaller and it's simpler, but just, I could not find the coach, like, there were no signs to, to like, show, oh, here's, the, like, the coaches to go to different places other than London. Because, like, obviously you can go, um, grab a bus to go, I don't know, somewhere around in London. I don't really know London. My point being, I just didn't know where the coach station was so I could buy the tickets and then just get home. <laughs> Because I was so tired, long ass half flight, carrying around 95 kilos of like weight in like my suitcases and everything. I'm not exaggerating, that's how much, like around roughly 95. It was be like, yeah, 95 is the rough estimate because of how much each suitcase weighed when I checked everything in. But I swear, like everything was so heavy and I just, I was so tired, I was so sweaty. I was just like, I'm so tired, I just want to get home. <laughs> I was like at that point after like, 15 hours of like traveling or more, I don't know, and roughly like on three hours sleep before I got on, a, in, on, a, on, a, on an airplane. It's just, I was just tired. And don't get me wrong, like I love traveling, like I love, yeah, I love traveling in general. I just don't like being in airports. I don't mind being in an airplane, aside from the fact that it doesn't like crash or anything, obviously, but um, it was just, Tiring. And by the time I finally, I had to ask like oh, several people, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, you can go here, go here. And I'm like, okay, fine. I, I went to those places and then like 
there they, like suddenly you, you just stop seeing signs and it's a little bit confusing and I'm just like <laughs> I just want to go home <laughs> and I was just like obviously like I was calm and collected but on the inside you know you're just like panicking you're like <laughs> I just want to go home so yeah that's what was happening to me and then okay so you had to walk the longest like distance ever to like underground trail like under the airport or like a floor under or something I don't even know how you got there but to get to the central like bus station the coaches and everything and I'm like okay fine I'm finally here I'm struggling to even turn the trolley because it's like too much weight and I cannot carry this at all so then I'm just like, okay, uh, could I please get like a coach to Brighton directly? Like, I don't want any other stops or anything. I've got four suitcases here and they're like, you know, you're only supposed to have two. And I was like, what? And then they're like, yeah, you need to, you need to pay extra for your suitcases. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll pay. Just get me home. <laughs> Cause at first when they said, you know, you're only supposed to have two. I thought they weren't going to let me on the coach. And I was just like, please, like I cannot take a train to Brighton, there are too many suitcases, I'm gonna have to take the under, it's just too much, I can't. And the only other option aside from train coach or, or the coach is to take a taxi and that would have been like 100 pounds or something like that. And trust me, I don't got that kind of money on me, you know, student life here, <laughs> international student struggles. Like, I didn't have 100 pounds just for a taxi to get back home, like I couldn't just be that bougie. <laughs> So then, um, they're like, okay, yeah, you can pay extra and uh, for the suitcases, and I was just like, okay, fine. But you have to pay like 10 pounds extra on top of what the ticket costs. So I ended up spending like 50 pounds, which is like half of a taxi, but still, I just wanted to get home, you know? <laughs> and then, so then finally, I, I'm waiting for the, the, the coach, and then they say, oh, just check with them that they'll let you get on. And I was like, excuse me. <laughs> So like when I finally got to to the coach and they're like yeah yeah just get on just go because they saw me struggling I'm like please I just like please <laughs> please just let me get home and they're like okay okay they were and the guy was like a bit strict at the beginning but I'm like please I'm just begging you <laughs> let me get home because like, he saw the four suitcases and he's like mm. and I'm like please just let me get on this is the bit that I didn't vlog that I'm telling you about like all of this. So I went back to Brighton, it took like two hours, maybe two and a half hours, I don't really know. So I finally get on the coach and they let me in and I'm like, finally, the last step to get home. And it was supposed to be really, really, really like three hours, but it took like not that long. And considering London is one hour away by train from Brighton, that wasn't English, but you know what I mean. So like it's only one hour in, away and I took like two hours, two hours and a half. It was just because like the bus kept on stopping like at different places, the airport, it's just, yeah. By the time I finally got home, I'm like, oh damn, I have no coverage. Like I don't have any data or I can't call anyone. And I'm just like looking at someone like that has a phone, working phone. And I'm like, can you please call a taxi? <laughs> because I couldn't, there was no way I would take like a bus to, to my flat with that many suitcases. So it was just, I'm telling you, it was a mission to try to get back, bringing all of these suitcases alone. Like I'm telling you, it was so hard, but I did it, I managed. And um, the unpacking bit was just like so difficult and getting back and I'm like, I'm so hungry, I'm tired, I just want to eat. And I like Brighton received me with the worst weather possible. Like it was cold that day, it was rainy, and windy and Brighton is like, hello, welcome back. And I'm just like, hey, thank you. I just came back from beach <laughs> to, to a really cold freaking beach. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I still love Brighton. I don't care about, like, uh, about the gloomy weather or anything like that. I actually really enjoy it. It makes me like want to cozy up. But that's besides the point. I finally got to Brighton and then the week trying to get like back on track and like the jet lag and everything. So yeah, slowly but surely I've been getting back on track. I've just been trying to get on top of things like just, you know, correspondence, <laughs> like my mail and things like that and uni stuff and just, yeah, talking about that. I'm so, so excited because like I'm going to start uni, like the actual uni bit, like 24th of September, 1st of October, I don't really know when the lectures start, but I am so hyped because like, I, I'm not gonna lie, like I love learning. I don't really like going to class, but I love learning because I get really, really bored and tired and it just drains me. 
but um, I really love learning and, I'm, and it's been some time like by the time our classes start it, it would have been like almost five months that we haven't had classes and like people would be like oh my god you're so lucky how, how, do, how can you like hate that and stuff like that but honestly I much prefer to have classes because I have stuff to do like I get so bored so easily and if my mind like all my life my mom like kind of like raised me to be always doing something like I never had a I, I'm always tired I've always been tired I'm a tired person but that's because I'm always doing something and like now I, I feel like I'm not doing anything so aside from like taking photos going to the beach and like doing YouTube vlogging things like that like there really isn't much I'm doing and like I've been trying to keep myself busy with different activities like if you could see my floor aside from like this bathroom space like you see a little ukulele there like I'm playing ukulele again or ukulele or how do, however the fuck you pronounce it so yeah I've just been trying to keep myself busy and like if you could see the floor right now like it's full of like like pencils and sketching things and hey let me get some over so yeah I've been trying to keep myself busy, so I don't know if there are any other activities you guys like doing like at uni that like I don't know any activities that you guys really enjoy doing in the summer aside from like the typical uni things like going out and just having fun, going to pubs, going to restaurants like yes I know I can do all of those things but like other activities like hobby activities and that does not include drinking <laughs> so like yeah I've just been trying to do stuff and like i keep on getting really bored but uni's almost begun i know i'm gonna be super stressed and super excited right now and i'm probably gonna regret saying all of this i'm gonna have it on the tape and on top of that like i can't wait for halloween and like it's autumn now like it's looking very autumnal today i'm not gonna lie like now it's looking very autumnal the days of summer are quickly numbered are numbered are, are, are quickly I, what am i saying i'm very excited for all of this i've already gotten like a bit oh, a bit <laughs> very autumnal because like i'm wearing like this green mesh top i got at h&m years ago i would link everything that i'm wearing in the description box down below oh also i have recently just created um my, my 21 buttons account so if you're interested in any of the outfits i wear or anything like i'm wearing i think you can even like I'll try to link makeup things. I don't know, I'll see if I'm gonna do that, but if you're interested in anything, I'll just link it in the description box down below so you can follow me on 21 Buttons if you're interested in anything I'm wearing. <laughs> so yeah, one year ago I took like a proper fashion design course. Another fun fact about me. Um, I took another, uh, I took a fashion design course and like they were teaching me how to like make and sew my own clothes and like fashion history and how to do things and what goes good together so i did take for like a summer course a fashion design course um is it course one more time i took that took that and i really enjoyed it and i really like if there's any here like if there if i could have found any during the summer here i would definitely go to one because i just love it and like i remember last summer i was full of things that's so wrong. <laughs> Last summer I was like doing a ton of things, like trying to keep myself busy before I went to before I came to Brighton. Because like honestly, I had taken a year, a gap year. Um, and like I was going to go last September to uni, like I was gonna come here to Brighton. Um, but I I wasn't doing anything, I wasn't working, I wasn't doing anything like productive according to society. So um, I got, I went into like karate, you can see from my videos, like I went into Kenpo Karate, I went into like a fashion design course, and I just, I really enjoyed it, and it was so much fun, and I, I obviously, I, like I was skating, I was doing YouTube, what else was I doing? I remember I was doing uh, quite a few things, aside from my regular things, so um, that was so much fun, and I really want to like find sewing things and shit like that over here because it's so honestly so much fun like you don't even know <laughs> i mean if you do you do but yeah besides the point i look extra pale i feel like in this lighting but it might just be the viewfinder i just yeah i need to invest in a monitor where i can actually see shit she shit because i am blind and on top of that like i feel like the viewfinder is just 
really crappy nowadays with the light like sometimes i look really really pale and then i upload the footage import it to my iMovie and check it and it actually looks okay it looks fine and i'm just here like the fuck bitch look what are you doing so i wanted to say uh, like along with the halloween costume ideas and things if you guys have anything that like you feel like would be cool to make in a costume a makeup tutorial anything with like stuff you have at home like diy kind of things like not super expensive um aside from like sewing that, that that thing's apart but like stuff that i could do like here maybe for you guys like on my channel i would be more than happy to do that so if you guys have any suggestions anything that would like you would like to see an idea or maybe something that you would like i don't know you might want to be for halloween but you just have no idea how to do it or like what to do what you need to buy um stuff that you could use at home so just tell me in the comments down below and i will look at them and i will most likely do them if you suggest anything i just your wish is my command so i will do them <laughs> so saying that um i'm really excited for like halloween i have no idea what i want to do this year and i have like i'm trying to look for inspiration ideas and i know it's a bit early in september but i want to start collecting ideas and things like that so i slowly start buying the things that i need to buy if i need to buy anything if i'm going to actually make my halloween costume buy a sewing machine and like get to know the sewing machine like you know kind of like break it in and just see how it works so yeah what are you guys like uh, aside from your suggestions and what you guys want to be for halloween like what like do you guys love halloween do you celebrate halloween like personally <laughs> if it weren't like illegal or weird or i don't know if it's illegal but i don't know i feel, I feel like people find it weird find like adults or like not even adults like if you're older than like say 12 years old if you're if you're trick-or-treating um, I don't know if you know what that is, like if, if you do it in your countries, like on Halloween, on All Hallows Eve, the 31st of October, kids go out and dressed up and like they go and knock on like everyone's door and they like get their trick or treat. So they like, the trick is like, they're, they get scared, but their treat is like sweets and candies and things like that. And I swear, what I'm trying to say here is that if it weren't weird or illegal, maybe, I don't know if it's illegal in some places, I'm not sure. I don't know why it would be, but maybe that's a thing. I've heard people say it. For older people to go trick-or-treating, because if it were possible for me to go trick-or-treating, I would. Like, honestly, I'm a child at heart, and these kind of things excite me a lot. Like, this and Christmas, my lord. You kind of, you kind of have seen. If you haven't seen, like, my old videos, you wouldn't really know. But, like, my older videos, oh my god. Like, I get so excited with for christmas and don't trust me i still am the same person <laughs> um i have been all my life like i got really really excited for um christmas and halloween just like september onwards is just my jam i just love it i'm just living my best life <laughs> i am super hyped so excited so excited for halloween and christmas but let's not get ahead of ourselves yet I honestly just love highlighting. Like I could highlight my life away. Having a bad day? Highlight. Just just get yourself full of powder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That little nose. So yeah, basically that's what's been happening. That's what's happened over the month and a half. Um I'm going to upload the vlogs. This is looking a bit more smoky than I wanted it to be, but oh well. I'm going to upload the Mexico vlogs and any other vlogs that I have like found in my hard drive or have stored or, you know. I'm gonna upload all of that. And I had pre-filmed a couple of makeup tutorials for like when I was going to be away, but since like I saw the problem that it was trying to upload and just like it was getting like to be an issue because like my dad had a certain schedule and lifestyle and type of thing and it was really hard for me to try to like merge everything in, like do what I'm supposed to be doing over there and like have the same schedule type of thing and make everything fit. It was just crazy. Like I remember one of the routines that we used to have. Well, one of the routines, it wasn't the main routine. We used to um, wake up like at 6 a.m. 
and get out of the house of his house at um, 7 a.m. so we could get to the office at 8 8 30 and then we would get on to like uh, we would get on with our day and do what we were supposed to do he would work do what he had to do and I would go off into like this internship thing that I did which was kind of like just being in labs at like the place where he worked and just trying to learn um, the, um, the first lab that I did over there was amazing like it was it had to do with my career it had to do if you guys don't know what i'm studying here um it's biological sciences and it had to do with it and it was really really cool we were just like doing stuff <laughs> in the labs and it was really cool but um the second one i'm not gonna lie like i didn't like it at all because like it had nothing to do with what i did it was like just like coatings and adhesives for paint so I did not really enjoy that one, but I was doing that for three weeks and then I went on holiday with my grandparents and what I'm my, like I trailed off my point was like we went to the office and then came out of the office 5 30 p.m. or 6 a regular work day and uh, Then when we came back, it was like an hour ish back to his house and then This was every single day and then when we got there like we had like 15 minutes to grab our stuff and then we would go to the gym and um, they would like do whatever they their activities and I would just go to the gym and that it was like that every single day and I told them I can't just like I'm, I, my body's just crashing like the shock from changing countries like this is just too much so I couldn't go to the gym every day like I had to go every other day and if we had time whatever we were up to so it was just really hectic because by the time we got home we got home at 10 30 p.m. and that was just way too much for me like I'm used to being home by like 8 p.m. 9 or if I go out, that's like a going out type of thing, but there's like nothing really in between and um, like from a full work day and then going to the gym and then coming back like it was just a lot It honestly just was a lot and to, to like bear like it was so much change for my body like I was jet like I was tired I wasn't feeling well like Just everything I wasn't feeling well at all and I was feeling homesick like I wanted my flat I wanted like my space and I just I, I was getting really, 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 really tired and um, it was really hard for me to come back home 10.30 p.m. not having like eaten anything um, before going to the gym or anything like that and I'm used to eating something before having a protein shake something and I didn't have time to do any of that and like came, came back home really, really, really late and like and it was crazy because I still had to shower, I still had to eat dinner and I had to get ready for bed for the next day and wake up like at 6 the next day so it was crazy because when was I going to edit? Like I had no time to edit and over the weekends, every single weekend I was going somewhere, I was traveling somewhere like I went to my like my aunt on my mom's side um, my aunt has a flat in Mexico City and like we went from the state of Mexico to Mexico City for work and came back to the state of Mexico every single day and then um, for, like two weekends I stayed out of the six weekends I was there well not five weekends because the sixth weekend I flew back to the UK but out of the five weekends I was there two of those weekends I was in Mexico City so I like Friday after work I would just be dropped off with my aunts so it's kind of like a staycation I, I, I would just go to my aunt's house and stay with her and we just do stuff chill like I wouldn't even have time honestly like I'm a very chill person at home cozy and homely and I'm used to like making my dinner and then like going to bed watching some Netflix before I go to bed having my nighttime routine being really calm not having a really rushed lifestyle and my dad does have a really light like a rushed lifestyle and I'm not criticizing like anyone or like everyone can live however they want I'm not trying to say anything like that or shame my dad or anything like that no no you do you boo -boo, but and what I'm saying is that I'm not used to it and um, like when I went like over the weekends it was really hard because I was like with people like two weekends I went with my aunt then one weekend I went back home home like to the hometown like where I used to live in Mexico and um, I went to like I traveled to that state I stayed with my friend we went out we had fun like that was a really fun weekend you guys um, uh, will see bits and pieces of what I vlogged. I don't know what's really going in but um, I went that weekend over there then I went um, I stayed up half a weekend with my dad I stayed a whole week with my aunts like not doing the internship or anything I had a week in Merida like it was really hectic and it was really hard to try to get some time try to find some time to edit videos 
And I'm not trying to complain or justify or anything like that, but just like I'm setting an example, like just it was really difficult. And I just missed my my home and my lifestyle. And now that I'm not jet lagged, I'm filming again. Like I've already vlogged yesterday. And like I've been able to like get the flat going again. To get everything like up and running and then the jet lag and then try to sort things out. So yeah, basically that's what I've been doing the past month and a half, almost two. I can't speak while I'm putting lipstick on. What I was trying to say was that I have forgotten. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. It was just really like um, a bit difficult to try to get everything going, like my lifestyle, what I was doing, my routine in the UK, and then trying to bring it into Mexico with the activities that I was doing. So. But yeah, anyways, um, I just wanted to film this video and like update you, say hi to you guys because I really missed filming um, and just upload this video so I could just start uploading the Mexico vlogs, any other vlogs that I had and all the pre-filmed footage so you are going to see a change, like obviously the background's not going to be the same now that I think about it and um, some of the videos I might, I don't know, I, I my piercing i don't know anyways my point being is i'm going to upload all of that because i don't want to just not upload those videos i said upload very weird <laughs> they are really nice like i had some colorful like makeup tutorials and just glittery ones and just so if you haven't checked like any of like my other videos please do um i'm basically done yeah i'm done but yeah, basically that's my, my little update of going back to the UK, I'm back over here, what happened, what I did, what's gonna happen, what's been going on. Um, I'm done getting ready, applying makeup, you know, what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am, if you do like chit chat, get ready with me, please give a thumbs up. I know this video was a long one. I know for sure this is going to be a long one. So um, if you do enjoy long, long chatty makeup videos, like so we can get ready together and just like you could apply your makeup or I'm applying my makeup and things like that, then just please give a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I was going to say something else, but I have completely forgotten. <laughs> Anyways, um, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And yeah, please subscribe. We're only like a couple of subscribers away from 200. And I would just really appreciate it if you did subscribe. And oh yeah, I was going to say, if you did make it to like this part of the video, please do subscribe. Like, please just, even if it's just a, kind of like a, oh, fine, I'll subscribe to you. Just, I pity you or something like that. Just. <laughs> Anyways, um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back to... Why do I always do this? <laughs> Hi guys! I just love my makeup today. It's just one of those days. Why do I just... Whoa! <laughs> I just looked like... If you guys watch Brooklyn 99, you will know the face that I just made and the sound and the hand just I looked exactly like Gina Lunetti. What is going on? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I honestly wish that I could have a mobile Instagram friend right now <laughs> because I would really love to take an outfit picture today because I feel like I'm looking like real good and I just I'm gonna have to set up a tripod or something <laughs> just to go from to myself it sounds kind of lame but I mean you got to do what you got to do but yeah I feel like people like my neighbors if they were peering in on me they would be like what the fuck is this girl doing like I don't know I ask myself the same question every single day <laughs> Hey. Oh, so now the sun decides to come out. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the frustration in my eyes. My eyes are watering right now. Damn it. I'm obsessed with this song. This one. 
Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.